It's October, and you know what that means. Spooky season is upon us. Grab your pumpkins and carving knives, chuck on some scary drip, because today we're getting into the Halloween spirit. Instead of Foot's ultimate stream cards, bin that off, we've got our own scary spin and applying it to career mode. In what has been one of the scariest years in recent memory, here's our 2020 Halloween special like no other. Here's the concept. We are taking a team fully comprised of players only born in the month of October, some even born on Halloween. We're transferring them all into the one squad. This side has got it all. The team of choice, yes, it's Beneventhor for the second year running. We're using the Stenagorni, the Witches and Wizards. They ain't hiding the fact with the Witch riding a Nimbus 2000 straight out of Harry Potter on the badge. It's the perfect concoction to give any side scares and shivers down the spine. I can't wait to see what this squad can achieve. We need all the dark energy. The dark arts need to be on our side. As Sir Boosie HD is at the helm, he's at the wheel and has taken over here at Beneventhor. Hey, listen here. If anyone dresses up as Sir Boosty HD for Halloween and sends me a picture on Twitter, you're just ultimately inundated in the Channel Hall of Fame. It's a team made up of elite ballers, cursed wonder kids, and legends, icons of the game, which we've managed to get our hands on. Listen, I need you all to subscribe to BCHD and help him reach 100,000 before 2021. Word is on the street. He is the best FIFA creator of all time. That's the word on the street. The beast said so. Here's the scariest team of all time from top to bottom in FIFA 21. We're going to start off from the goalkeeping spot. We've got Allison, Edwin van der Sar, and a Kepper, of course, to round things off as a third choice. Moving over to defense, let me know down below if I've missed out on anyone. I've done most of the research, did this video last year as well. We've also compiled some special, let's just say Halloween additions and just unique entries into this team, like Marlon Fossey with that palm tree style of a haircut. He's looking like Sideshow Bob V2. We're probably going to spend half the transfer budget on just maintaining that beastly head of hair. It makes Ethan in Pardu's dreadlocks look miniature in comparison. His trim still does be looking like a Halloween costume and the big man from Panama, Roman Torres, with that godly head of hair. I think he's shaving it in real life, but in FIFA, his game face and his hair is still looking on point. For that cherry on top, it is Hamza Chowdhury with the ginormous afro. Remember that mega afro you could unlock in the EA Sports catalog back in the day. Yeah, I think they got the inspiration from Hamza himself. Moving over to defense, Theo Hernandez, Kurt Zuma, Sebastian Coates, Asa Mandy, Stefan Radu. We've got the two Halloween installments. It's Alexander Arnold, Ricardo Pereira, and Kenny Lala finish off our defensive department. Transitioning in into midfield, Edson Alvarez, the Mexican out at Ajax, joins Hamza Chowdhury, of course. We've covered Marcus Rashford, who's actually born on Halloween. There's another wonder kid in this video who's born on Halloween as well, so we'll touch on that in a bit. We've got Steven Bird one from Spurs, Ilkay Gundogan and Kevin Camp will make their return. It is the man himself, Wayne Rooney. And our 34 year old still playing his football. We've got Mesut Ozil, just completely excluded from the Arsenal starting 11. I guess this Benevento Halloween special team is the only side it can break into. Emil Forsberg, Nadia Mirmiri, and Ianis Hagi also are going to be the cams, but it's our starter. It's our front runner, Diego Maradona. It's kind of awkward because he's a Napoli legend, and in this team, he's playing for their rivals, Benevento. So it's a bit of a sticky one, but you got to do it for the content, Diego. Take a look at the midfielders and the wingers. We've got Jordan Shakiri, Busy, Ansu Fati, who is the other one born on Halloween as well. So we've got some cursed wonder kids involved. And I'm keen to see how the Lama Sia Youth Academy talent performs. We've got a throwback to Stefan El Sharawi, a FIFA 12 legend. And he's kept the same Mohawk game face scan since FIFA 14 next year. It's a double dose of icons in our attack because this is probably our most prominent department right now with Garincha, the 86 year old. We've got him as the captain of the team so far, but we might end up changing that. And of course, two of the best players known in football, literally born in the same month. October is the month, people, I'm telling you. February is the month to get down and dirty because you're going to probably be creating one of the best footballers of all time. I don't know what other months can contest to this because Latan Ibrahimovic also joins up in the mix. The man who ages like a fine wine and never seems to slow down in his career and to finish it all off, it's another double dose of attacking icons with Marco Van Basten and a Liverpool legend, Ian Rush. That is your whole in-depth look and analysis of the team. It's a beautiful mixed bag with some wonder kids, some Develop players, some ballers, and some icons. The Halloween editions go all right as well. Before I forget, I completely left out Mason Greenwood, the one kid who's actually born in October. So both of United's most up-and-coming talents and most promising stars born in the month of October. We brought him in for 33.8 million pounds. We couldn't exclude the generational talent. This is how the side will be lining up in that 4-3-2-1 formation. I was really thinking of going all out and just utilizing this pumpkin formation I've decided to whip up. To be honest, it just carves us a massive 
massive hole in the middle and it's not going to do us any favors tactically. I'm sorry to spoil the party, but this is our strongest starting 11. That attacking trident of Pele, Rashford and Garincha is legendary. Maradona, that center attack in midfield outlet and the creative vision we need in the midfield. The back four and center backs are probably our weakest areas, but hey, with dynamic potential with the sharpness and all the boost players get now, it shouldn't really matter all too much as Coates and Zuma playing at an 85 and an 86 overall. The goalkeeping spot shouldn't be a problem either, so I've got some high and heavy expectations for this Halloween Challenge Edition team. Let's start simulating and seeing exactly what this team has in the locker. Can they do it all? We're going to have to find out, so stick along for the ride, people. After the first campaign, here is your look of the Premier League table right now. We have the relegated sides, West Ham, Southampton, and Leeds United all going back down to the championship as we scroll up. How did the Halloween side, how did October FC perform? Were they title challenges? And you bet they were, only losing one game, collecting a total of 93 points, a 10-point gap over second place, completely wiping the floor in England. Spurs and Arsenal also miss out on Champions League football. Everton are all the way down in 12th, but what a shift they've put in. Did the Witches of Benevento manage to claim any other silverware? No, they didn't make it through to the FA Cup final. They got knocked out somewhere down the line. It was a 2-1 defeat to Chelsea in round four, which saw them eliminated. Chelsea were crowned Carabao Cup champions with a 2-1 win over Manchester City. And our boys, where did the Halloween side? They've just got a curse in these English Cup competitions with a 1-0 defeat to Palace in an early round two fixture. There was no Champions League football, but they were actually placed in the Europa League, managing to top Group C quite easily. No real competition there as they moved on into the round of 32. They took down Boa Vista 3-1 on aggregate. They faced Roma in the round of 16 with a 5-1 victory. As in the quarterfinals, they taught Munch and Gladbach a lesson with a 4-1 victory. And in the semis, they booked a spot in the final against Arsenal with a 4-2 victory over Lille. And it's Arsenal versus our special Halloween concoction in the Europa League final. All right, people, here is our strongest starting 11. Going into this match, we're going to interactive match, Simon. I know despite the result tonight, we have qualified for the Champions League in season two, which is our ultimate goal. But it'd just be nice to grab another piece of silverware to add the collection and for the witches to reign victorious. We're headed into the sim with one thing on our mind, another piece of silverware. And of course, Arsenal, they've got a history of losing in Europa League finals. This should be pretty straightforward. So let's not count our eggs before they hatch. We'll see how this all plays out. All right, Maradona does find Rashford over to Pele. Pele and Rashford with the double link up. And are you seeing what I'm seeing? Because this is just straight up Halloween energy exerted onto the screen with a beautiful link-up play between the two. We go 1-0 up. They're continuing to assert their dominance right here with Garincha. Garincha finding the space and the Brazilian showing no mercy on final night. The Witches double their advantage and it's got all the all marks of a routine victory. Here we go. Oh, oh, the third is on the cards here. Could be an onslaught, ladies and gentlemen. And this time, Pizzi, I think... There is no need. They've secured the third and they've already got one hand on the trophy. We're going to jump to the result and that's how it's going to finish. They played the Gunners off the park. Thoroughly deserved that win. The Europa League trophy is looking absolutely peng next to a prime time Diego Maradona. Play with the tournament announced and you guessed it, Maradona, the Argentine, stealing the show and a Benevento double up. Two trophies in one season. I couldn't be prouder of the Halloween boys. So this HD really got the best out of his players now and I want to see who really stole the show in the first campaign. Pain. Our golden boot winner, the top goal scorer, Diego Maradona, with 35 goals and 9 assists. Despite Pele finding the back of there 34 times, he also managed double figures in both departments with 12 assists alongside it. Marcus Rashford with 19 goals and 4 assists for the captain. He's not only winning on the pitch, but off the pitch, he's an absolute hero. A true leader of the UK people. Now with Garincha, 15 goals and 7 assists for the Brazilian. Now at 87, he should be in the nursing home by now, but with the spooky spirit on his side, it's like he's back in his prime. Ilkay Gundogan from midfield with 20 goal contributions. Pizzi with that goal in the final managed four goals and two assists. Kurt Zuma from centre back with three goals alongside Mesut Ozil who actually got a bit of game time. You know it's Halloween when Ozil actually gets first team football. Zlatan in what I think was his final season with a minus four overall downgrade. He got a goal and assist to his name in two appearances. Now main man in between the sticks, Allison with two assists and 23 clean sheets. What if Sir Boosie HD's witches got cooking up in season two? I'm hoping they can find that magic formula and fly Fly their way to victory. This time in season two, Sir Boosie HD has gotten busy and have been involved in the transfer window with a bit of spooky business. We've had a few exemptions from our actual first initial October team. So we've gone out and purchased two brand new additions in the form of Tammy Abraham activating his release clause. He was born in October, so he qualifies for this team nonetheless. Our brand new number nine alongside Fabinho, yet another Liverpool player who we are going to acquire the 88 rated Brazilian. Another release clause activation, and he is going to 
to actually be a starter in the midfield, so I'm happy about this one. I can't believe I forgot him in the first initial team. He'll be earning his starting 11 spot in that midfield three this season, and there have been boosts all over the pitch. Now with an 87 rated Zuma, 86 rated Coates, we've got a 99 rated Pele. This team is off its chops. The odds of this season backfiring and turning into a nightmare for the Witches is beyond near impossible. Let's see if we can complete the challenge and fulfill their Halloween destiny in season two. Here's how the second campaign is wrapped up and they finished on top once more. It is back to back Premier League champions. They defended their crowd with a 91 point season. The likes of City, Chelsea and Liverpool couldn't come close. It also saw the likes of United and Arsenal finish outside the top five and getting relegated. We see Nottingham Forest, Fulham and Cardiff City all fall back down to the championship. In the FA Community Shield, Spurs actually took us down 2-1. So all right, a bit of a shock to the system. In terms of the FA Cup, no final berth again. Chelsea winning 2-0 over Brentford. I feel like I've seen this year out of any, more little teams make it through to the cup finals. And we've had Newport of all teams and our FA Cup final dream with a 3-2 elimination in round three. The Carabao Cup finally broke the curse with a 2-0 win over Spurs. We got some Community Shield revenge on these fools with a 2-0 win at Wembley. Also participating in the UEFA Super Cup and this bodes well for our Champions League campaign as we took down Real Madrid 1-0. Three pieces of silverware already. Can we make it four in the Champions League as we took down Group B with with no real competition in there for us. It was like stealing trick or treat candy off a baby. Undefeated with 16 points in the round of 16, we defeated into 3 1. We eliminated Juventus 6 2 in aggregate. And in the semi finals, we knocked out Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid to face none other than Manchester City in the big dance. It's technically an all English final with Marcus Rashford, the captain, leading out our strongest starting 11. Before we dive into the match, though, here is our team report and the summary of the season. Our MVPs yet again was Yale. Diego Maradona. At 61, the Argentine has provided us with 34 goals and 19 assists, being productive with double figures in both departments, just like Pele. His 35 goal contributions were much appreciated alongside Marcus Rashford, the captain, with 21 goals and 6 assists. Gerincha taking a bit of a backseat this season with 13 goals and 9 assists to now 88 year old. He's approaching his 90s. Lucas Hernandez from left back with 9 goals on 4 assists. Alexander Arnold yet again proving his goal scoring capabilities. And the new boy Fabinho with 5 goals and 7 assists from CDM. We did have Marco Van Basten off the bench with five goals, so he could prove deadly in the Champions League final if we need a last minute impact, just like Ian Rush. In between the sticks, Allison held it down with 31 clean sheets and one assist in 57 appearances. Can we inflict some more spooky damage in the final and come away with the victory in what could be our fourth of season two and complete the challenge? Let's find out. The Witches ain't here to fly on broomsticks. They're here to play some beautiful football. Halloween United, October FC, whatever you want to call them. They're here to take over and get their hands on that glorious piece of silverware. They're not going to know what to do with themselves on the pitch tonight. You watch. It's scary stuff. It's menacing. It's the team you don't want to face in the Champions League final. Let's get this show on the road. We'll play it out wide to Theo Hernandez. The overlapping run of Marcus Rashford. He's onside. You know, the ball into the middle. It's bobbling. It's bouncing. And Diego Maradona, the MVP for two years running, strikes fear into the opponent and whacks that home find in the back of the net. Get in there, lads. Open in the score and after a dominating first few minutes it's been a world-class display just like when you're watching a scary movie on the 31st man city are holding on for dear life or hail or praise the october born kings because they are just showing what they're made of we'll cut back inside and the englishman finds pele setting up maradona perfectly for the chip and he were too audacious here with gundawan the overlapping Theo Hernandez and Marcus Rashford got a foot to it, you know, but it's a point blank save from Edison. They still have possession with the Brazilian Gabriel Jesus. He sets up Valverde and Alisson gets there. Sterling into the box now, but how is that a penalty? Theo Hernandez with the cleanest tackle you're ever going to see. And the referee curse is shown loud and clear. What has he done wrong here? He's gotten the ball. He might have taken down the man, but that is clean. VAR, where you at? Now, Alisson has a job in his hands, though. Here with KDB. He's doing a little mind thing to put him off, and he's gotten the save. Back to Zakaria. Gundogan intercepts with ease, and he's read it like a book. Now, Marcus Rashford on the turn. He will play that ball inside to Pele, and the one-two is on here. Can the Brazilian seek out the Englishman? And he's found him! What a scintillating bit of play as the number 10, the captain, leads by example. And it's a frightening finish into the bottom left-hand corner. Two men burst their way through a capitulating Manchester City defense. Ake completely missed the ball. And Marcus Rashford said, say no more. Oh dear, no Man City now looking eager to get this equalizer. And our defense holds strong. Here we go. Counter-attack in the making. 
and it's beautiful, scintillating, quick football. It's liquid stuff. Pele set up for the third. And just like that, the Brazilian on the scoreboard blowing kisses to the audience. He is an absolute don. The icons proving the difference. And the spooky October FC get their third. And Diego Maradona pulling the strings in midfield as always. And this has certainly got a serve boosty HD dub written all over it. Oh my god, it's either Laporte doing blackface or the Halloween spirit is rife in FIFA 21. And that's all she wrote, a 3-0 comfortable professional victory. It was clinical, it was quick, it was vintage Halloween football as some scary players were displayed on the pitch tonight. Hopefully you all did enjoy this one. If you want some more seasonal and, you know, holiday-esque teams we can build in career mode, let me know down in the comments below. Have a happy Halloween. If you did go on to enjoy, make sure to drop a like down below, hit subscribe, turn on those notifications, baby, 100k before 2020. Anyone. Can we do it? I don't know. Make sure to follow all the socials down in the description. I'll leave you with the Champions League celebrations. Have a happy Halloween and I'll catch you all in the very next video. King Marcus is going to lift that trophy.